Hello everyone, this is the daily devotional video for uh, November 3rd, 2016. The passage for today is in the book of Acts, chapter 27, verses 13 through 26. When the south wind blew softly, supposing that they had obtained their purpose, Putting out to sea, they sailed close by Crete. But not long after, a tempestuous headwind arose called Euryclidon. Euryclidon? 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 I'm not sure. Um, so when the ship was caught and could not head into the wind, we let her drive. And running under the shelter of an island called Clava, we secured the skiff with difficulty. When they had taken it on board, they used cables to undergird the ship, and fearing lest they should run aground on the searchest sands, they struck sail and so were driven. And because we were exceedingly tempest-tossed, the next day they lightened the ship. On the third day, we threw the ship's tackle overboard with our own hands. Now when neither sun nor stars appeared for many days, and no small tempest beat on us, all hope that we would be saved was finally given up. But after a long abstinence from food, then Paul stood in the midst of them and said, Men, you should have listened to me, and not have sailed from Crete, and incurred this disaster and loss. And now I urge you to take heart, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of a ship. For there stood by me this night an angel of the Lord, an, an angel of the God to whom I belong, and whom I serve, saying, "Do not be afraid, Paul. You must be brought before Caesar, and indeed God has granted you all those who sail with you. Therefore, take heart, men." For I believe God, for I believe God that it will be just as it was told me. However, we must run aground on a certain island. Wow. Okay. And the title for today's devotional is "The Loss of Hope." Life doesn't always meet our expectations. Even when making plans according to God's lead, we may run into something that interrupts them. <coughs> Frustration over the obstacle can lead to discouragement and loss of hope. Then, if the hindrance should persist, our spirits may plummet toward despair. Oftentimes, what trips us up is a circumstance that seems impossible to overcome. Think about Paul's voyage to Rome by sea. <clears throat> when a bad storm arose, the sailors worked hard to save the ship. But since they couldn't control the weather, they gradually gave up all hope of being saved. There are times when we can't change what has happened. Whether it's a job loss, a loved one's death, or a devastating diagnosis. In such situations, feelings of hopelessness can overtake us. <coughs> Postponed plans can also be disheartening. Hannah is an example of someone who became dejected because of hope deferred. You can read about that in First Samuel 1, 10 through 11, and Proverbs 13, 12. She saw other women bearing children 
but her own maternal desires had not yet been fulfilled. When things do not go according to our schedule, we may experience emotions like hers. Feeling abandoned by the Lord is another thing that can throw believers off track. I remember a season of life when I felt all alone. My mind said God was with me, but my feelings said otherwise. To counter those emotions, I pursued the Lord through prayer and meditating on scripture. In times of discouragement, you have a choice. Will you focus on your circumstances, or will you fix your gaze on our loving Father and trust Him? Sometimes it's easy to lose hope when we don't see any sign on the horizon that anything's going to change. But that's when you need to cling, cling to God the most, you know? I love you guys so much. I hope these videos are a help to you. Thank you for the positive comments. You guys are awesome. I love you all. Mwah. I'm going to go ahead and go. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day.